Hey, it's Dennis here from VoiceSlow. I'm excited to announce the new LLM intent classification feature. This feature allows you to classify intents much more accurately using the power of large language models. Let's dive into a project and show you how it works. I'm here on the VoiceSlow CMS under the intents section. You can see here I have 13 intents for the VoiceSlow starter bot. So let me show you how to use this feature. Let's head over to our settings icon and see now that we have two different options. We have NLU intent classification to start off with, or we can enable large language models, or LLMs. So let me show you a before and after using NLUs and LLMs. So let's exit and head over to our preview. This will allow us to test a new utterance. I'm going to type in, I want to learn the basics of voice flow, and hit send. You can see here, I match to the none intent. But in practice, I want to match to the learn basics intent. Now the reason for this is I didn't have the right utterances in my training data. Now it can be pretty frustrating to update my utterances in order to get this level of performance. Let's go ahead and turn on the LLM classification feature to boost our accuracy. I'm going to exit, go back to our settings, and enable large language models. So you can see here, we have three different fields. We can select our AI model, you have GPT-4, 3.5, and a number of different cloud models. I'm going to select GPT-3.5. You can also select the temperature on how random or deterministic you want the responses to be. That's more of an advanced feature, so we'll let Pete and his prompts explain it. So let's save and exit. Let's go back to our preview window, and let's type in, I want to learn the voice flow basics, and hit send. And there we go. We successfully classified to learn the basics, even though our top intent was none with the NLU. Now one more thing. If we exit the intent window, we can now see that we have descriptions in our CMS. This is actually what the large language model is going to be using to classify our intents. So that's how the feature works. Now I'll send it over to Pete for more details. Thanks for that, Dennis. Before we dive into how to create descriptions for our intents, I wanna go through the prompt wrapper, which is where the descriptions will be populated. Let's look at it. The prompt starts with the role of the AI. You are an action classification system. It then gives context to the model. Correctness is a life or death situation. You might be wondering why we've done this. Well, studies have shown that this helps increase the accuracy of the output. Why? Honestly, we don't entirely know, but phrases like this may help guide the model towards particular subsets of training data where thoroughness and precision were prioritized. We then instruct it to take a deep breath, which also helps in the same way that the correctness is a life or death situation part of the prompt works. Then we give the model instructions around the output format that we require, showing how we expect it to answer. We then dynamically provide the intent names and the descriptions. There'll be 10 of them here, so it's really important that your descriptions are quite clear, defined, and succinct. Along with the utterances, the final instruction to classify the utterance. Okay, so that's the prompt. Now let's get to the descriptions. As I alluded to before, having really tight descriptions for your intents is very important. Essentially, this is what the LLM is using to match a user's utterance to the right intent. The first thing that you wanna make sure of is that all of your descriptions follow a specific format. This will make it easier for the model to select the right one. I start all of my descriptions off with trigger this intent when. This is to make it really clear to the LLM what action it should take. Next, you're going to want the description to both be concise and comprehensive. Here you should aim for descriptions that are brief, but also that cover the breadth of the intent. You want to avoid overly broad terms that could blur the lines between your intents. Here is an example of a description that I wrote for a password reset intent. Trigger this intent when the user requests assistance with resetting or changing their password. This includes forgotten passwords, inquiries on password reset processes, or explicit requests to change a password. Now to do this for hundreds of intents would be a very long process. You need to take into account the utterances, the intent names, so to make it easier, I've created a little prompt template. Here's how it works in action. So I'm using the Anthropic Playground here and I'm going to use Claude Opus to create a description for a fraud intent. And I'm gonna put in the utterances, the intent name. Boom, that worked. So if you want the prompt template, you can get it in the description or the comments below. And that's it for now. Remember, stay curious.